American Powerboat Television. Brought to you by Fountain Powerboats. Fountain, the legend continues. It would be a feat never before attempted in a center console fishing boat. A proposed world record speed run from the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse in North Carolina to the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor in under seven hours. The boat for this run? A stock Fountain 38-foot center console powered by triple 300-horsepower Mercury Verado engines. The crew? Four-time world champion angler Clayton Kirby, Fountain's offshore race team crew chief Brian Forehand, and veteran marine journalist Eric Colby on board to document the trip for a feature article in Boating Magazine. The mood was optimistic as the team completed preparations the night before. Their only concern, the weather. We don't know what kind of weather we're going to uh, run into along the way. So we've set this boat up with 600 gallons of fuel, which means if we have to run wide open and we get in big seas and have to run the tabs down, and have to run across big water, we can still safely run 50, 55 miles an hour. With all the gear secured and the boat ready at the dock, the Fountain team takes in a hearty breakfast. Just in case, lunchtime comes around a little later than planned. The weather could prove to be a spoiler to their best laid plans as the morning light brings winds from the northeast and reports of four to six foot seas just outside of the inlet. Undeterred, Clayton Kirby and his crew plot their course, a 410-mile run. Brian Forehand will pilot the boat for the duration of the trip, working in tandem with Kirby on throttles to manage speed and fuel consumption. As the team heads out through the channel, the weather appears it might cooperate as the outside waters seem to have relaxed slightly. It's now go time and throttles down. It's a little choppier than hoped at three to four foot seas, giving the boat an initial average speed of 53 miles per hour. At the Fountain headquarters in Washington, North Carolina, Reggie Fountain and the support team prepare to intercept the crew just offshore of Virginia Beach. Confirming coordinates, the support team estimates the intercept at approximately 10.30 a.m. Just as planned, the boat comes into sight. Radio communications from the crew confirm seas of only two feet with an occasional three-foot swell and a cruising speed of 65 miles per hour. At this pace, the boat is considerably ahead of schedule and the air support team decides to proceed to New York in order to transfer to the helicopter to intercept the crew when they arrive in New York Harbor. Time is now critical for the support team, as a cell phone call from Kirby alerts everyone to their location, just south of the Sandy Hook Peninsula, and cruising at the incredible speed of 75 miles per hour. There she is, boys. The bear's on her way. We're going to make it just, just a shade over six hours. 12.05 p.m., and mission complete as the boat throttles down in front of Lady Liberty. The Back team celebrates a new Hatteras world record. Cape Hatteras, North Carolina to New York City in six hours, ten minutes, and eight seconds. And by one o'clock p.m., the Fountain team toasts their success during lunch in Manhattan.